Hi, welcome to Forever Paranormal with Dr. Bill and Deb. The term paranormal refers to phenomena and experiences that are beyond the scope of normal scientific understanding and cannot be easily explained through traditional scientific principles. These phenomena often challenge conventional beliefs and are associated with the supernatural, metaphysical, or unexplained aspects of reality. As with any field of inquiry, it is essential to approach the paranormal with an open but critical mind, relying on empirical evidence and logical reasoning to draw conclusions. It's a topic that continues to intrigue and challenge both believers and skeptics alike, and if we can connect a paranormal element to it, we'll talk about it. You'll be surprised by what all can be connected to the paranormal. Please don't forget to follow, rate, and share the show, since it would not be possible without you, our listeners. And as a public service, we would like to let everyone know that you are truly never alone, even if you think you are. The Suicide and Crisis Lifeline is 988. Please just reach out. Well, hello there. Hi, everyone. And welcome to this President's Day bonus special episode where we're going to discuss the urban legend around the weird, spooky, and creepy coincidences between Abraham Lincoln and John F. Kennedy, both presidents of the United States. Besides both of these presidents being very concerned with civil rights and not being afraid to let everyone know what they thought, there are many claimed coincidences with the assassinations of U.S. Presidents Abraham Lincoln and John F. Kennedy. And these have become a piece of American culture and pop culture, actually. The list of coincidences first appeared in the mainstream America press in 1964, a year after the assassination of John F. Kennedy. We're going to go ahead and jump into this list. Lincoln and Kennedy each have seven letters in their name. Lincoln was elected to Congress in 1846, while Kennedy was elected to Congress in 1946. Coincidence? Hmm. Lincoln was elected president in 1860. Kennedy was elected president in 1960. Again, exactly 100 years. Both first ladies lost a child while they were living in the White House. Sorry to say that, but it's true. John Wilkes Booth, who was Lincoln's assassin, was born in 1839. Lee Harvey Oswald, who was Kennedy's assassin, was born in 1939. Both killers were known by their three names, which are actually both composed of 15 letters. And I know today's press usually refers to people by three names, so they're differentiated between other people and not confused. These people were actually known by all three names every day. Booth ran from a theater and was eventually caught in a warehouse. Why Oswald ran from a warehouse and was eventually caught in a theater. Both presidents were originally from the North slash Midwest, while both assassins were Southerners. Lincoln's successor was Andrew Johnson, who was born in 1808. Kennedy's successor was Lyndon B. Johnson, born in 1908. Both of the president's successors were Democrats and again, Southerners. And each of the successors' first names had six letters. Both presidents were shot in the head. And both presidents were shot on a Friday. All right, you ready for it? Lincoln was shot in a theater named Ford, while Kennedy 
was shot in a car named Lincoln. Huh. Lincoln had a secretary named Kennedy who supposedly told him not to go to Ford's Theater while Kennedy had a secretary named Evelyn Lincoln and supposedly she warned him not to go to Dallas. Booth and Oswald were both killed before they could be put on trial the same month as the assassination took place. Booth was killed while trying to surrender, and Oswald, of course, was killed in custody while he was being moved and killed by Jack Ruby. Both presidents had security guards named William, and they both died within 48 hours of reaching the age of 75 years and 5 months. And both of these men died in a year ending in five. Both Oswald and Booth were at their normal place of work when they committed the heinous crimes of assassinating the President of the United States. Now, these are all pretty wild coincidences, and I'll just tell you, I for one don't believe in coincidences. And there are definitely too many coincidences here to be a coincidence. But I'm going to leave it up to you to decide. And until next time, when we discuss another tale yet to be told. Thank you for listening, and remember to like and share the show. We would also appreciate a five-star rating wherever possible to help new listeners find the show. We welcome all questions or comments you may have about this or any other episode and our contact information can be found in the show notes of this episode. You can also follow us at foreverparanormal.com. And if you'd like to support us, you can buy me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com forward slash foreverparanormal. The links to these are also in the show notes of this episode.